Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Daniel. Rex. Happy Hands Club. I'm practicing. You wish you were Napoleon. Show us your dance. Uh, I'm not as good as Napoleon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bullet Burp. Okay. Front. This is Bullet. Barrel Big, Strength Bullet. Big Brand Barrel Strength Bullet. Peter Davison, you magnificent <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have it just so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Bullet was actually one of my very first whiskeys. Really? One of them. Yeah. Was it all in one night and there were multiple whiskeys involved? No, it was. Then how could it be one of the first? Well, I was, I was, uh, I was a tender young chickadee. Uh, so, um, the best friend's mom passed away, and this was the whiskey that he poured. Uh, all right, poured us to you know toast the passing after the funeral. So, not objective when it comes to the bullet. Right. Okay. Now we don't know where this is coming from. We know it's Kentucky bourbon now. Too much of uh, emotional history there. Yeah, there's a chance that it is Jim Beam. And then, yeah, with a little bit of vanilla in there. You got the classic bourbon notes. What's the proof yeah, on it? It really is just, it's almost cast strength. Whoa. I mean, I think it is cast, but it's just barrel bourbon. So, well, oh, so this barrel is, strength. This became very exciting to me because I think the only bullet I've had up to date. The normal proofed? Very low proof. Yeah. Uh, 62.7%. Wow, there's a chart of this. Okay. Like you can smell the burnt wood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, a little bit. And. Then it's vanilla and and like a creamy vanilla note, mm -hmm. and then the vanilla is the dominant of the sweeter notes there. And then the really dry corn dust, like the smell when we were dumping the grain earlier today, that just kind of fills the air. But yeah, I may be immune to it because at one point, head to toe, covered in grain, covered in that's in, true, uh, malted barley dust. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. It is dry and tanniny and. Molasses, but it doesn't go so far where you have to go. Oh, no. <coughs> it has that water. has that dry element, uh, and it attacks the back of the throat. Yes, yeah, it's, it's getting me in like black pepper. Bing, well, it's, like, it's like damn near sixty three percent. That's about as high as you're gonna find uh, in a whiskey. One twenty six proof. <clears throat> I like Lord. it though. I like it, it a lot. Uh, the vanilla doesn't show up as much on the taste. No, it, it doesn't. Not so. Not as much on the taste. I'm though. gonna put a little water in mine. Just to see what happens. Mm -hmm. And then the molasses, man. On the taste, the molasses shows up more so than that vanilla you get on the nose. Oh, it opened up all these fruit notes in the nose. Wow. Right? And that vanilla got creamier. Yeah. Yeah. The vanilla and then uh, a little bit of caramel shows up now. Vanilla and caramel. Yeah, lovely. it reminds me of those cream candy, yeah. hard candies. Yeah. The strawberries and cream. Oh, the strawberry. hard candy. I'm thinking of a different one. Okay. Strawberries and cream. I'm thinking of like those square chunks of caramel. Ooh. That's weird. It got slightly more corn dust and thin, mm -hmm. but then also uh, kind of rounded edges. It changed it a lot. You For a whole lot. Yeah, you didn't put it in. I put a tiny amount of water in there, and it's a dramatic change. So, All the wood tannin bitterness is gone. Yeah, this is one of the whiskeys that you can explore, right? Adding mm -hmm. a few drops of water releases some oils and blah, 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 blah. There's this is batch two. Plenty of episodes about that. By the way, uh, if anyone's wondering, but batch two. If we were in the new vault, I would say, Daniel. Go get the classic normal barrel and, bullet. And then I would say, Daniel, let's put it on a block of ice because it's 63%. Oh. Good lord, that could stand up to ice. I think it could uh, transform into something I agree. worthy of a hot day. I agree. I totally agree. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, I get that. And I'm going to get the other one. I think will be interesting comparison to this. Rob Dawson. Mm. My wife hates my whiskeys so much. She said, my Ardbeg Corey Vrecken smelled like someone poured vodka into a butthole and lit it on fire. <laughs> Who else has a spouse that hates their whiskey? <laughs> Your wife's kind of uh, great. She's kind of great, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, you just got to respect the lulls in that relationship. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't respect her beverage choices. I tell you something. Respect the lulls. My dad told me early on, right. said, never marry a woman that loves Guinness. Because she'll drink on it. Because you can't be guaranteed that your Guinness will stay in the fridge. Right. <laughs> and it sort of applies to whiskey, too, I think. Right. Except the problem is my wife loves whiskey <laughs> and uh, drinks more of our whiskey at home than I do. Oh. Because well, by the she, time you know, I get home... Teacher of the Year, we, we yeah, decided we this. Yes, yes. that the secret to becoming Teacher of the Year is, is to be a lush. 
So, you know, but the problem is by the time I get home, whiskey didn't always sound good to me anymore. Right. Whereas when she gets home, it's her first chance to have a drink and it's always whiskey. So mm -hmm. she goes through our whiskey selection at almost uh, triple the amount of whiskey that I drink at the house. Good God. Yeah. Uh, but that's just because I only drink whiskey at house like once a week. Yo, you got a new thing up here. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. Did you take a sip of it already? What? The what no, 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 no. I'm interested in right. what did you recognize that that just drastically changed? Uh, well, it got more honey and more wood for me. Okay. Yeah. So this is barrel bourbon. They started the whole company where all they're doing is curating interesting barrels. And they always tell you exactly where it came from, if they can, or what state it came from. At minimum, this is Tennessee whiskey. Right. They tell you the age. This one's 14 years old. Yeah. Uh, this is bottle 29. It's 101 proof. 53. And they tell us what barrel it came from. This yeah. was selected for specs. This is from Renita Re Revis, patron saint now. Renita Revis, you were a very patron saint of whiskey. Oh. You're supposed to spin. Oh, spin hot. Spin. Not seeing it. There's a graphic. No, they are. It's also Chad has learned. Oh, oh, okay. To basically have enough time to get off the graphic, so you spin. So oh, okay. one more time. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, uh, that's also her 40th birthday. She said oh, to say that. Does she actually. want? She said that. Her 40th birthday. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so this is a. Tennessee whiskey yeah. that's 14 years old, okay. which puts it in the same category as that Dickel 13 year old that we tried. So I'm wanted to, I wanted to know is so you didn't when want you to took it, to the no, no, when you took a sip of it, right. did it remind you of our last episode? I'm not thinking about the last episode. Hold on. I am because I get that slightly chalky, I the, sour, I got the last candy heart right here. This is the Dickel we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. It Here. totally is. Right there. If you want to know what this tastes like, it's shockingly similar to the bottled in bond George Dickel. You know what, though? The George Dickel, as much as we were talking that, about that being dry, mm -hmm. there's more caramel on that George Dickel. Yes, nose. yes, so I have it right here. Yeah. Uh, and, but it's, this is drier because it's a single barrel. Oh. Right? Okay. Yeah. So this, yeah, it's a. Uh... If you want more barrel impact on that George Dickel, then this is it. Okay. If you liked it sweeter, the George Dickel bottled in Bond was it. Well, and it's still relatively right. dry. Relatively speaking. Right, right, right. right. Okay, so. Anyway, whoever's is... choosing their bottles are, uh, has a great palate. Mm -hmm. I've never had a bottle of barrel whiskey, rye, yeah. bourbon, whatever, yeah. that I didn't think, oh, good choice. I just had an interesting experience as you were saying words with your face hole. As I tip this back, the nose, I was still breathing in as I was taking mm -hmm. a sip, and the nose unlocked a vanilla that, that I wasn't finding just going straight in through the top. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree. Oh, it's good. Oh, it happened again. Yeah. You're tilting it back. More surface area for the whiskey. Okay. You know what it reminds me of? Yeah. So uh, when I was working at Starbucks, uh, it was back when Starbucks was still working with Republic of Tea. Okay. Now they had their own brand. Sure. This is that's how old I am. They had a partnership with Republic of Tea. And... You could get this tea called Vanilla Almond. It was Repu You could still buy it, Republic of Tea, Vanilla Almond. Right. And we used to make cocktails, whiskey drinks with it. Right. So you start with a tea, and then you add alcohol, but you had a Vanilla Almond Black Tea. Okay. So you get all of the black tea, uh, tanniny black tea notes, right? Mm -hmm. And then you add flavors of vanilla and almond. That's what popped into my head just now. Huh. Vanilla Almond Black Tea. Vanilla Almond Black Tea. Okay. You know, as you were saying more words with your face hole, I was thinking about, <laughs> I don't know how tricky this would be, but yeah. a glass design that right up here, it has a ridge to accommodate your nose. <laughs> it's like a nose shape, right? It's like putting just a, a, just a little ridge. It's like a Groucho Marx. A ridge right there on the yeah, top. Yeah, just to ching. Because that's the tulip shaped glasses, right? They concentrate and they funnel up the, the, the aromas, the smells. Right into... Yeah, but you can keep your nose in the glass at the same time. Unless you have a huge, inappropriate face. Yeah, it's kind of scrunched, right? I got I got one of these going on. See this? You get my nose in there and the lips. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something I can do. I was laughing. It's not a good... I mean, it's working, but if I had a little bit of, of a nose ridge... Of these two, I prefer the bullet. I think that would be exceptional. Somebody get on that. But the barrel is beautiful. We'll... we'll, we'll, we'll do things official with that. Is there another comment by any chance, please, God? Please. I'm inventing here. Okay. This is the process. You must respect the process. Jimmy Leg. Hey! Jimmy freaking Leg. 
freaking leg. I try to... Because <laughs> we were having this whole discussion about the difference between an asshole and a snob. Right. So Jimmy commented. All right. I try to walk that asshole snob line, but you may disagree because you're stupid. <laughs> I think he just de decided which side he was on. Balmore Tempest <laughs> is the only Balmore I buy, and I do like it. If you make it cast strength, you're making it for me. <laughs> I love, Jimmy like reminds me of, remember in Braveheart when the guy's like, Ireland, it's my island. <laughs> That's Jimmy Leg with cast strength whiskey. Jimmy, cast strength whiskey is Jimmy my whiskey. freaking Leg. The official pet snob of the whiskey tribe. <laughs> oh yeah, so both of these are lovely. Uh, the, the surprise to me was the bullet quite Yeah, I good. actually prefer the bullet of these two, which is, a, I think, a fraction of the cost of the barrel, but... Oh man, and then the caramel that you get on this bullet after you get off, after you oh, get yeah. away from the Tennessee whiskey. It's rich. Wow. That shit is rich. Rich. Did you ever see a Chappelle show? Yeah. Yeah. I'm that rich. Was, that's the Rick James, right? Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.